The search continues for the two swimmers who went missing near the Remington Hot Springs in the Kern River on the 4th of July. 23 ABC's Vanya Patina was out by the river today and brings us the latest. The river may look enticing, especially as a way to escape the heat. But time and time again, search and rescue teams are brought out here. This time for two men, a 19 year old and a 27 year old, both last seen in the river. I think that because there's no report of drowning necessarily, there was a report of a struggle in the water. There was a report of someone disappearing in the water, um, but there's obviously always a possibility that the person or these people did get out and might need to be rescued on shore. That is why despite over 48 hours passing, Lori Mesa with the Kern County Sheriff's Office says this is still not a body recovery mission. Search crews are looking for any sign of 19 year old Samuel Raimundo, who was wearing a black shirt and black shorts and 27 year old Diego Cabo, who was wearing black shorts and a white shirt at the time they went into the river. Officials say the two men were here with about 20 family members, although only four went into the water. All were visiting from the Los Angeles area, which is not uncommon. Good amount of people coming from outside of the county and, and becoming victims. You do still see people from the area. So um, like I said, it just, it's, it's never enough. We have to continue to tell people stay out and stay alive. She has that is why they usually have press conferences with the LA County to remind those communities as well. But with the river averaging six deaths a year since 1968, the reminder continues to be vital. In terms of this case, search and rescue teams have had boats in the water daily with crews on the ground and a helicopter assisting on Monday and Tuesday. We are working on getting a drone to continue the search to help us look into some of those harder to reach areas that are not as easily accessible. Meanwhile, the Red Cross saying they have always recommended people have a plan in case of emergencies, like a designated person to call 911 as every second counts in these situations. You have a designated water watcher, whether that be in the pool at home or at the lake or the beach. Uh, that way that you have someone who's looking out for you. Taylor Poisal with the American Red Cross saying you should never ever swim alone and also know your physical limits. And knowing that sometimes we need more practice and maybe uh, folks need swim lessons and to look into that uh, to learn CPR and first aid. But the best advice Mesa with KCSO can give is simply don't go in. Even a life vest for someone who doesn't know the Kern River is not sufficient. Just don't get in the water. Don't go swimming in the water. She adds the case can change at any moment, but the plans right now are to continue searching until the end of the week. If you have any additional information, you can reach out to KCSO on the number on your screen. In Kern County, Vanya Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you. And cases like these are always an unfortunate reminder to be extra cautious when visiting the Kern River, along with the safety information shared by the Red Cross with Vanya. We also took an in-depth look and found some more tips to keep in mind for you and your family. According to the Kern River Conservancy, it's always important to check river and stream conditions before heading out. You can find river and stream condition information at the visitor's centers, ranger stations, and from weather alerts. Plus, it's Always good to let someone know where you're going and when you plan to return. The Conservancy also urging everyone to follow no swimming signs and finally never swim or wait upstream from a waterfall even if the water appears shallow or calm.